Hey, 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 welcome back to Vibing Con Las Chulas. And this is your girl, Olgis. What's up? Hey, 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 and this is your girl, Yudi, a.k.a. Yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. Hi, girl. Hey, girl. You're getting Hey. Candy? I see you're getting Yeah. Candy. Yeah, like always. <laughs> I'm always here always getting ready. Always getting ready, bro. <laughs> I, did, I did myself a little quick, you know, COVID makeup, hella quick. And I just tossed my mascara away. It was already like a, the one I was going to throw away because I don't like to, you know, use the same shit. So I just threw it away. And I'm currently yeah. eating, I'm currently eating some food. Cause you're you're breaking, breaking your fast or what? Yeah, yeah, I'm breaking my fast. Good. What okay. are you eating? A chile relleno. Oh my god, you cooked? No way. Te lo trajeron. Yeah, from Mecca. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. All righty. Well, let's get started. I'm going to start out with the shout outs. And today's shout outs goes to Rosa, Rosalva, perdón, Rosalva for reposting and to our boy Blaze also for reposting. Thank you guys so much for all the love and the support. Thank you guys. Mm. What's up? Let me put this food away. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god the struggle has been real today we got mm-hmm. one cancellation we had to improvise but we did we it we did it we did, did it girl we have a special guest today i've been knowing yes this i've been knowing this girl since forever and um we have a lot of good memories and more to create so let's bring our girl in, our girl Patricia. Welcome. What's up, girl? Hi, girls. How are you? We are good. How about yourself? I'm tipsy. I'm ready. Oh, you started hey. with us. <laughs> Cheers. She knows the drill. <laughs> Cheers. She knows how it goes. Cheers. So what are we drinking? What are we drinking? So I have Corona. And I have some uh, erradura. Oh, tequila and beer. Yeah. Can't go wrong. girl. (laughs) Is beer your chaser? (laughs) (laughs) Exactly. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm drinking the same thing, the Red Bull and vodka. Oh, hardcore. I'm doing tequila. (laughs) I'm doing milagros. Tequila, milagros. So that's what we're sipping on. Mm. Que te haga el milagro. Que me haga el pinche milagro de que me quite este pinche COVID. O sea, que me vaya a la chingada. O sea. Yes. So, um, you kind of know. Oh, there it goes. I was looking for my shit. I found it, you guys. Ah. <laughs> okay. Oh, Go ahead, Yudi. Let's start. You know that, uh, you know how it goes, huh, Patty? I smoked before we started the podcast. Yes, the <laughs> shout outs. I mean, not the shout outs, sorry. The quote, Patty, if you don't get the quote, then you have to take a shot. Oh, man. <laughs> Are you guys ready? The yeah. quote, it's from, it's a song. It's from a song. Okay. And it goes a little bit like this. Every time you kiss me, feels me from my head to feet. And I tell to myself, ah, deep down inside, there will be no one else for me. Oh, Ah. that's like some love shit right there (laughs) it is the only problem is that i'm not fucking in love so i don't know you don't have to be in love or some (laughs) let me give you a small tea for some good oldies oldies. Uh, somebody else sings it too either one that you tell me mira te la valgo te la valgo so it's an oldie <laughs> oldie oldie or it's an old like a r&b old r- old r- r- r&b or it's uh, old yeah oldie? yeah quieren mucha información <laughs> yeah yeah tómense el pinche tequila si no saben you know what <laughs> con gusto let's do it con gusto eh. <laughs> <laughs> y quien me lo quitará eso Let's take a <laughs> shot. I'll take a shot with you. I, I, you know what? It sounds very familiar. I'm not gonna lie. I, 
but I just don't know it. And she always gets me. Good thing I already ate. Earlier, I was already tipsy because no, no había comido nada, way. Cheers, Patty. All right, Patricia. cheers, baby girl. Cheers, you guys. Well, I'm not going to take this shot. <laughs> but still. <sighs> mm. <sighs> my water, water is my chaser. God damn it. I just washed it down with this Corona. Not the coronavirus. I know. No. <laughs> <laughs> the good Corona. Right. <laughs> the beer Corona. The one that has to make you feeling good. Okay, Patty, <laughs> let's talk, let's talk about a little bit how we know each other so the 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 people can know how we met and everything. I think it was at school, right? It was at Riverview. How many years ago? Oh wow, that's way back, right? That's like I think 20 something years. So that's middle school. Middle school, yeah. I was only there for because we didn't go to elementary school together, but I was only at Riverview for sixth grade and half a seventh grade. And then I moved to Pittsburgh to Oh, Pico. that's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> it was backwards. <laughs> yeah, it was backwards. But girl, it's crazy because we still kept in touch. Like, yeah. You know, that's why it felt it felt like it was backwards. Like you yeah. came. <laughs> so yeah. you guys you guys didn't go to high school together? No, we didn't go no. to high school together and we didn't go to elementary school. So basically you could say that it was only that year and a half, but like regardless, we still kept in touch throughout the years. It's just it's crazy. And we wow. always picked up like we always picked up where we left off. It was always like, it was never like that awkward, like, oh, hey, no. I like, know, oh. never. You know what? It's funny because they always tell me that, like, with you, Olga, it feels like nothing. Like, I say, yeah, that's how it should be. I hate when people are kind of like, uh, right. should I say hi or not say hi? I'm like, if you know me, say hi. And it's exactly. good. It's all good. Right, right. Damn, girl, yeah. you is that hella music in your background or what? Oh, it wasn't me? Oh, girl, it's it's my my neighbors outside. Girl, I'm telling you, these white folks like to party with Mexicans. <laughs> <They like me. laughs> oh, shit. We got a little funk going on. A little <laughs> funk funk. So, yeah, that's how we know each other, Yudi, since um, we know each other. And we just, we always, we, we connected. We always connected, I think, because... Um, now that we're grown, I think because we're uh huh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yes, I see. Not that we understand why we connected because we were both like more like we had a connection towards like the spiritual world, you know. We gravitated towards each or towards each, each other. other because I mean back then we didn't know. No, no, yeah, definitely. I had no yeah. idea what what's all this, right? Yeah. <laughs> now, like you said now that we're older now we understand why it was that that connection um it was just like we just know you know that third eye like i see you girl <laughs> I see you you one of us <laughs> you're my people <laughs> i'm not alone <laughs> i'm not alone in this world no <laughs> so so that's actually one of our topic we're gonna be uh diving in into the spiritual world all right, let's, so let's start with the spit out. And um, so basically a spit out is something good or bad that happened to you or funny this week. Oh, my God, this week. So um, speaking about intuition and third eye, I was with a friend and I needed to get gas. And so he's like, hey, you know, just he was smoking a cigarette and I was already about to pull into a gas station. And um, I was like, you know what? Just smoke your fucking cigarette. Let me just let me keep driving. And he's like, just go to this gas station. And um, I basically was like, no, you know, I don't want to go there. He's like, why? I'm like, I have a I have a weird feeling. He's like, what do you mean? And I'm like, you know, just my ex always shows up there. And I don't know. Come on. He's like, what are the odds? It's nine o'clock PM. All right, whatever. You're right. We show up and like, I kid you not, like not even five seconds later, he shows up. I haven't seen this motherfucker in two fucking years. <laughs> right? You know oh, what I mean? And I'm like, 
Oh, I was like shook. And I'm like, oh my God, I told you, motherfucker, I got a third eye. <laughs> Damn, it's crazy. Yeah, so. I no, that- I feel it. I feel it. I totally feel it. Yeah, so that was, I think to me, that was bad that happened to me this, this week. And you were hella awkward. You were like, what the fuck? Yeah, he's like, what's up, P? And I'm like, P? Nigga, you never called me P before. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> like, what the yeah. fuck? Yeah, it was, it was <laughs> awkward. It was- I think it's bad. For me, it's bad because ever since I started the podcast and I said I started watching porn, right? <laughs> so <laughs> they fucking sent me a porn. Welcome to the team. I know. They sent me a porn video of themselves with another girl and they wanted my input. They wanted to know, like, hey, so. Is the camera good? I need your input. Ooh, Should what? we put more hump in it or what? <laughs> <laughs> that it was not cute whatsoever. I, I, oh my God. I had it and let him know like, you know what? It's just funny to me because like, dude, you're coming to the stray square bear over here. I, I just started pouring and you want to throw that to me? So I was like, first of all, you need like a better camera system and then like, I don't know how, it, what's going on, but you know, the, the cum of the female was like really thick and white. Girl, that's all fucking fake. It's all fucking staged. That shit, like motherfuckers really think like, no, you keep watching all this porn and then you want to come fuck this, you know, like it's, it, it's stage. It's designed to make you fucking horny. No, yeah, yeah. But I'm saying the video that he sent me, I, my input was like, I, it was disturbing for me because the females cum or their cum was so yeah. thick and white. And I was yeah, just like, what the fake. fuck? Ooh. It's so safe. And I was just like, I was like, keep trying, oh, babe, whatever you're doing, whatever with the what. And I had <laughs> and I had to share that with Leo. I said it to oh. Leo. <laughs> I was, like, if I'm, I was like, if I'm the one watching this, I'm not going to be the only one, motherfucker. <laughs> and he's like, you little ass, why did you send me this nasty shit? I was like, hey, <laughs> people want my input. And I, I said, I need to sound professional. I need your 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 point of view, you know? Like, I need my, <laughs> my friends to let me know what to say because I'm supposed to sound like this sex expert, which I'm not. <laughs> 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 so that's my spit up girl that's my spit up what about you you girl oh my god that's freaking bananas yeah te quieren hasta hacer uh, a director solo guy la chingada sexóloga y toda la chingadera I was like, <laughs> no oh girl. my god i haven't shared it I, you know what i think i still have i'm gonna share it to you guys bitches yeah you. hey send it send it girl oh my god because you know what there was a point where like i was legit fucking addicted to watching to porn no not me i just started, really and i don't watch it's porn like much. that but i can only yeah that's we'll, we'll leave that for a different topic yeah <laughs> 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 all right well for me i'm like really considering um my is it laser or lasik surgery because i'm recently trying to get contacts but these fucking shit of putting them on and taking them out is just yeah. too much for my eyes like i tried right now it's freaking irritating so I'm really trying. What do you guys think? But I'm a little scared because, you know, it's your eyes. If something goes wrong, like, I don't want to go completely blind. <laughs> no, I have a friend um, who just got it done. And he said it was like the best thing he's ever done. And it's like literally quick. And like within a couple of hours, you're already out. And he's like, everything was like so vivid, like HD fucking clear as fucking like you're not yeah you're not gonna wow you got it done in one yeah i'm really considering because this glass of situation is getting annoying and then this contact things are annoying too hello i just got braces on look at his braces and fucking glasses pati la fea Oh my god. No. <laughs> like yeah. es linda, es linda. That the así. Patty, Patty, the así te ves fea, güey. Oh, you're too nice. You just say that. <laughs> yeah, no. I think you should do it though. Yeah. I'm I'm really looking into it. Making appointments and everything shit. Yeah, it's hard to just go in there and try and try it out. 
Yeah. Okay, you guys. So before um before we hop back on our topic, um go ahead. Let's let uh give us the answer, Yuri, because we're gonna have to go on a quick break already. And then already. Back. So the, the this is from a song. The song name is "I Like the Way You Love Me," and it's from um Brenton. I think Brenton Woods, but also Little Rob sings it as well oh, oh yeah. you thought Brenton i was gonna get it yeah. yes that's straight <laughs> oldies right there it's a oldie i should have known that i should have known that <laughs> i was like that's familiar i was like so let's dive in into our topic i always knew i was a little different because i was very sensitive and um but I didn't really tap in until I got older. A lot of people call them sensitive. I've been reading about it, um, but it's really that, uh, what's the other name that I told you the other day? It's Empath. Um, empath, yeah. But since a lot of people don't know about that, they just call them, oh, you're hella sensitive. Like they're just hella sensitive. And it starts when you're little because like you notice sometimes like some kids like are very like, they go with everybody and then there's other kids that they they call them like they're so shy or they're they're like scared but the reality is that they're 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 having that empath and they they could feel the vibes right so that's crazy right yeah but people always have um called them sensitives but the real word for it it's empath you know what growing up i it did bother me sometimes when my friends be like oh you're too sensitive but at the end of the day, I didn't realize, okay, maybe I am too sensitive. And then I realized why I'm so sensitive. Like, well, because we, reality is that you didn't even know what it was. Yeah, exactly. You're themself. Exactly. I what barely... about you, Patty? When did you start? I'm sorry to cut you off. No, no, no. Yeah. What about you, Patty? When did you start to notice that you were different? <laughs> like Olga said. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like, um, you know, that saying like, oh, you know, when you get butterflies in your stomach or you get that gut feeling, you know, um, the sixth just, sense. right. And I always had like that, oh, that gut feeling, something's going to happen and it would happen. And like you said, when you're younger, you really don't, um, pay attention to it much. But then as you get older, you're like, wait a minute, it just happened. This is why I was having this feeling or, um, you know, certain, certain individuals will bring you that vibe, like that heavy, um, negative vibe, or you could actually feel somebody when they're really pure at heart, and they're really just a good individual. Um, so I always use that to like my defense, I guess, because I always go with my quote unquote gut feeling, my third eye, you know what I mean? My intuition, like I just always go with it. Yeah, um, same, same you, Olga, right? Sorry, you guys. I remember, like, growing up, like, we'll be at parties, and Olga be, like, so overprotective. I always, like, yeah. like, like, seeing her, like, so overprotective, like, no, like, you stay here, but it's the same thing, because she can feel the vibes, she can feel, right. like, something's be- not okay. Exactly, and before, I didn't know, I, they will call me Mommy Olgis, right? Because I was always, like, too caring, and or too overprotective or whatever it is. But sometimes I can like, I can feel the vibes and everything. Like I will be at parties and I'll be like, no, we need to, we need to get out. Like, I don't know what it is. Something's gonna happen and boom. As soon as I leave, something happens. So having that six feeling, go with it. Go with it, right? Mm-hmm, yeah. And um, it, so I, I started noticing stuff like that because I was like, fuck, I go with my gut feeling or I, I can see it. Or sometimes, you know what happens to me when the person is not, like you said, like not a good person. I no los puedo ver a los ojos. I cannot give them eye contact at yes, all. But you feel like- so if I can't, if I don't give you eye contact, yeah, you're funny, funny, funny. Yeah. Something is not right. Okay with you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no. I, I you can de- you I can detect. Sorry, you can sorry. detect what it is. You just know that something's something not okay. Off. Yeah, something yeah. is off. I just I, um definitely it has to be something that disturbs my my soul, my spirit. Yeah. Um, 
yeah, that's what I have noticed for me. And has saved me a lot, a lot of shit. Like literally one time we were all in a party and we were all vibing, everybody having a good time. And something came to my head, get the fuck out. Like I was with my friend and I was like, come on, um, let's go. And then I, had, I was with my other friends and I told him, hey, you know what? We had a coat back in the day, Southwest. So oh, it's good to have that. So when we would say Southwest means no question asked, let's go. So everybody was questioning me like, for what? Why? I'm having fun. <laughs> You fun, good time, guys. We're there. You, you, you party pooper. <laughs> you know what? I don't give a fuck. Oh, you know what? Let me hit one of my friends. You came with me. You go with me. Because she was one right. of my best friends. And I'm like, I'm about to, I'm going to feel guilty leaving her behind. So she was hella upset that I took her with me. Literally, we were by her house, like literally five minutes down the street when they call us. Hey, it was un puto desmadre. We got jumped by the tongue. It's a hella mess. And I was like, and I looked at her, I was like, See, I told you. I was like, gotta Girl. believe in me. Gotta believe in me. Oh, <laughs> it's that third eye. <laughs> you gotta believe in me. Beauty. When when did you notice that I was a little different? Weird. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've always known because you always talk, I think you always talked about it with me, but when you started like telling me more like um about the the feelings that you could feel like certain emotions and and stuff like that I think it got a little bit more real to me yeah like when you would tell me like oh like that freaking like you're thinking this or you're thinking that bullshit yeah Um, it's not bullshit but it's like Fine, get out of my head. <laughs> Sometimes I can read people's mind. And Yuri was just like, yeah, right, bitch. And then one time I I surprised her and she was like, what the fuck? And, but let me make this clear, you guys. I do not, I cannot just say, hey, I'm going to read your mind. No, right? it, it just comes, you guys. It's not like, let me fucking read your mind. Do you like me? Do you don't? <laughs> so, yeah, no. hey, this guy wants me. No, that one doesn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's sassy. No, it's sassy. Yeah. yeah no, also, I, like, it's... I don't know. Sorry, Patty, go ahead. Oh, no, it's, it's not that easy. Like, like Olga mentioned it. Like, it's just certain individuals, um, not even just with with feelings too I get like I had a dream about a friend that she was standing naked in a cave and it was like fish hanging from the cave and she was standing in like blood Damn. And, uh-huh. yeah in the cave though right and so came to find out and I'm like hey girl I just I had a weird ass dream about you and I, I explained it to her and she just started she's like busted out crying and she's like I just had a miscarriage last week and I'm like, oh, wow. What? Um, <laughs> also, Olga, you have experienced dreams as well, right? Yes. I think when I was younger, I used to have a notebook and I would used to write um, all my dreams and I would date it. And then it will happen either in a week or in a month part. So I will go back and just check, put a little check. So when I got with Ronnie, which, you know, into that stuff, He's like, what is that notebook? What do you have there? I was like, oh, I read my, <laughs> I'm like, oh, I read my dreams because I'm really highly intuitive with when it comes. I He's probably like, what the be honest, fuck? I didn't even, No, I didn't even know the word intuitive, all that shit. I was more like, I don't know. My dreams come true. Like I, when I dream stuff, <laughs> they he's just probably come. like, what the fuck? And he's just looks at me like, oh, very interested. I was like, yeah. <laughs> and then. Um, no me creyó. I'm gonna be yeah. honest. Yeah. No me creyó, <laughs> pero después, like, when we moved in together, I was like, oh my god, I have this dream. Blah, blah, blah. I start praying, and then I write it down, and I write it down. He sees me writing down, and y, y yo le dije, like, this is gonna happen, and literally, like, it happens, and he looked at me like, like once he started living with me, and me saying it, and then seeing it, happening it, he started like, okay, I got you. Okay. She was not BSing. <laughs> yeah. So shit's I, real. Yeah. 
I have experienced um, dreams. Like sometimes I get like dreams that people are pregnant or people are going to die or people that. And then like, sometimes I just know what the other person is going to talk, say like right out. Like I already know, like I can, um, for example, one time my tia was praying on me. Like we were praying and stuff. And literally I was saying the same thing that she was saying. Like she was praying and I was, I can like something with my brain, her brain was just saying the same thing. And she yeah. was just like, she always told me you're so, you're so special. She's like, I just want you to like focus on God and do what God wants to do with that gift that he gave you. Um, yeah. Because my family always kind of knew like, cause I would be like, Oh, that's hella dope. Nah, it's dope yeah. in some yeah. ways. But in other ways, it's very stressful and draining. Very draining at that. Yeah, for sure it is. I just had something like that in December. My grandpa uh, passed away in December a week before. I was like, I was like, no, I need to talk to my grandpa. I kept calling Mexico and they're like, you know, giving me the runaround. I'm like, no, I need to talk to my grandpa. It's important. I need to talk to him. I got to speak to him. A week later, he passed away. Yeah. And I like, I knew, like, I, you know, and something, just... yeah. Blah, blah, blah. yeah. I really don't have a name to what exactly, but Patty makes it very simple. She's like, girl, you just have your third eye open, whatever. Because I have so many different things. Like, I get messages from people that passed away. I get, um, I can feel energies. I can sometimes read people's mind. I can, um, what else dreams usually when i dream dreams come true um what else beauty girl uh, i see bultos or shadows and i recently like a year or two i heard of um voices i haven't mm. like literally a voice usually i get message like it's a different thing when you get messages like like from people that passed away it's different mm then I actually f heard it in the hallway. Like I heard, shh, they're going to sleep. And I was like, ah, it never gets old when I hear shit or something like that. And you know but, what? People now, like if they're, you know, when they listen to this, they're going to be like, oh, she hears voices or, oh, you know, like I- hey, she's also, schizophrenic. <laughs> yeah, they're going to think, oh, she's, you know, mental. But Crazy. again, people that have quote unquote mental- problems but I don't see it that way are more like in tune with that everybody has a third eye just yes. not everybody's in tune with it just like if you work out and you exercise your muscles are going to get stronger if you exercise your third eye like it's going to get more into you're going to get more in tune with it but you also have to be careful because you're not going to you got to prepare yourself Yes, it's not That's easy. That's true because yeah. I remember like before I used to tell you, like I used to be like very like, like hard or whatever. And now I'm like, I feel like I'm more sensitive now. Like I cry and like, I feel like, I feel like the energies too. Like it's crazy. I have told yeah. you all that and I'm yes. like, what the hell is going on? But you know what it is? I feel like you're in your higher self. I feel like before you were full of anger. So mm -hmm. it was covering all your high intuitive I just don't lower my vibration or my, I don't know how to explain it. And I feel like Yudi back in the day, she used to hold a lot of grudges. She used to have a lot of anger. So I yeah, used to be very bitter. And I feel that didn't allow you to actually tap in into your, you know, intuitive vibe that we all have. We just don't know how to use it because sometimes we are too worried about other shit being more in tune everybody can go to that level but we're moving so fast we're like always like so busy we don't slow down and yeah you feel your surrounding you know or like I mean? i'll start feeling uncomfortable with certain people but i have a question so olga you describe everything that you um have what about you, what about you patty is it the same things that you describe or um, when i was younger like i used to um and I don't know if it has to do with the Ouija board, but I used to like 
see things or hear voices too. As I've gotten older, like if I hear something in the house, like it doesn't bother me anymore. I shit you not, it doesn't scare me anymore. Like we used to always hear things in the house and like um, it could either be like, it is spiritual, you know what I mean? Because there there are spirits and certain <laughs> spirits I feel like try to connect with the people that are more in tune with their third eye, you know? Um, but it's more vibes. It's more like feelings and that gut feeling that I get. Um, and I don't, I hardly ever dream. So it's not through dreams or anything. I just want to say it's more just feelings. Like really, like I can feel like the chills on the back of my neck. Like you could just feel when something's not right or when you feel like it's going to be good, you know? Okay. Okay. I see what you're saying. For me, it's a little bit different. I always, um, when I was like 15 is when I discovered that I can actually feel people's pain. When my mom was suffering from arthritis, um, I used to tell her, oh no, mom, I don't want to sit next to you. She's like, por qué? And I was like, it's because I can feel your pain. She's like, I see tu loca. Me va a sentir. A ver, ¿dónde está? A ver, ¿dónde está? And she, I would tell her where she was like. ¿Dónde me duele? ¿Dónde me duele? And I was like, this here, here. And she's like, she gave me the look, but she's like, okay. I was like, la sé, qué raro. ¿Cómo vas? ¿Cómo saber tú dónde me duele? La Una niña, ya. Yeah. ¿Cómo vas and a hacer? And then I was just like, no sé, ma. Por eso le digo que no me toque. Because she, she used to put like her, her elbow next to me, like when we we're sitting in the car or something. And that's when I realized, that's when I start tapping in and realize, okay, I'm different. Like, not different, but I'm like, I didn't know the names when I was little. Like, mm -hmm. younger, I was just like, so rara, esto lo que decía, no es una niña normal. I used to tell, I always make fun of it. She's like, es que no eres una niña normal. That was our say. Yeah, that's true. I mean, that's I, don't, I don't feel like, you know what? Yeah, we're not normal. Okay, we're like I said, everybody has it, but at the same time, whoever's not in tune with it is not normal. <laughs> we're on a different level. I'm more like lo acepto, you right. know. And I said 2021, it's okay. I can talk about it now, and I don't feel like I have to like just keep it in between like us because only my close close, and I know who to talk about it with. Right. I don't talk to just any random people unless I want to prove them something. If I wanna although now, although now everybody talks about vibes and everybody wants yeah. staging and it's like, girl, we, we've been feeling this. <laughs> Y'all barely catching up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> All yeah. In. yeah. So that was my first experience. It was, um, feeling people's um, pain and I didn't know like what the fuck and then I started tuning into like because I was young I didn't understand and then I started noticing people's uh, emotions like I will walk in the room and depending on how people are feeling I can feel it and I'm like wait what the fuck is going on I know I wasn't mad I know I wasn't sad but it took me so long Patty to understand like what the fuck I don't even know who Guess me label. <laughs> right. You know what I, I mean? Like, I still, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't really like to dive in so much because, like, it's still something that you don't want to know. <laughs> I don't want to know. I right? don't want to find out. Yeah. Because I have experience, I have experienced more stuff that I don't really talk about it. And I don't really want to go into details with you guys right now for the audience. But I, I do have other gifts and stuff like that, but um, I try not to mess with it because of the same reason. I don't like it. I don't like. Oh, bitch. Yeah. I, don't, I didn't see. I didn't I fucking don't, know. I yeah. didn't know. <laughs> I know, but see, for me, I always been a scary cat when it comes to stuff like that because mm -hmm. I know now like I'm sensitive, yeah. and I'm like, uh, uh, I don't want like people be yeah. like, can you come to my house and check if no. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> oh, matter of fact, remember, Yuri. Okay, so this what happened. One time uh, at, my, at my aunt's house, right here in Pittsburgh, I went, I haven't, it was my first time going there in hella long because it's actually my uncle's house. Um, I go in 
and I feel like somebody was sucking the shit out of my my soul or my air I couldn't breathe I was like (gasps) and then she's like are you okay and I was just like yeah something is here like it's not good like not something is here and she was like shh yes I know she's like (laughs) she was like in la noche you can hear them cooking what cooking yes you can hear them like cooking La se, pero no le digas a la Yuri. <laughs> oh, that's fucked up. <laughs> yeah, let the bitch figure it out herself. <laughs> right? She that's gets up in the middle of the night, like, what are you guys cooking? Hello? Hello? <laughs> Anybody there? <laughs> I smell pancakes. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no, because, oh, my God, I need to take a shot. Let's take a shot. Um. Mm-hmm. Because um, Yuri was not like happy to be in California. She wanted to go back to Phoenix. So no quería que, escu- que hiciera cualquier excusa para irse. So she's like, please don't tell Yuri. And I didn't tell you, right, Yuri, until later, I think. Mm, yeah, I think so. I don't think you told me. Yeah, I didn't tell her. I was like, whatever, bitch. Si te agarran de las patas, te agarraron. Si te ahorcan a la medianoche, like it. Cheers. 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 Happy birthday. Thank you. Ooh, happy birthday, girl. <laughs> Thank you. She's getting Too ready many to more. go. Too many more. She's getting ready to go party, you guys. Happy birthday. Know. Something <laughs> like that. <laughs> yeah. And a lot of people are not going to understand still to this day. So a lot of people still don't know about that. But it, it's like... I've, I've, well, I mean, I grew up with Olga, so I've always known and I always try to, I've, I don't think I've ever said you were crazy. Like, no. I just like, I knew she was different because the things that she would tell me, they were like true. So, you know, I, I couldn't, I, I was just, I would be shocked, <laughs> but I, I'm like, okay, well, she, she is, she's something because <laughs> I, and myself, I didn't know what it was. Yeah, uh, we, but, we didn't really know until. But yeah. it's crazy that, like I told you, I was reading about it the other day. So really, if you start reading about it, and then the third eye, it's everywhere as well. But if you don't pay attention, like you're not gonna realize it. You know what? <laughs> when I do my fasting, I was telling my my uh, my people like, when you fast, you're eating less chemicals, you're putting less stuff in your body. So that's when you're more highly into it. And if you start meditating and stuff like that, that's when I start getting more messages and stuff like that. And I get more in tune. And and that's basically what I'm saying. Like, like people will always judge me. Why are you doing fasting? That's not good for you. Actually, who told no, you? No, it that? is good. Who it told you that? that? Like, you brainwash saying it's that. Detoxing. Yeah, it's like detoxing. Yeah. yeah. From yeah. all the yeah. garbage that we eat. Yeah. Like, From everything your body, your brain, is, you just get stronger. And that's the same thing because people don't read. People don't, um, no se, no se educan en eso, you know? Like, they're just like, what the heck are you doing? Like, you're starving yourself. Like, no. Exactly. That's exactly do, what they tell I, me. I do a lot of, like, I smudge a lot. Like, I do, I have my, my Palo Santo. I always do my Palo Santo for, like, positive energies and my you know i got my whole little setup every day the day that i don't do it i shit you not i will be so knocked off like i'm out of balance and like certain people that are like very sensitive to this kind of thing that we're talking about like they'll notice it right away they're like damn your aura is like you're glowing it's because your aura you've got to protect your aura because you can go into a grocery store and El, el, ¿cómo se dice? El, malo, el mal ojo, te pueden echar el mal ojo, you know what I mean? Like, just by them looking at you, like, they're really observing and that, that negative energy into your, your aura, you know what I mean? So you also have to cleanse your spirit, your soul, your mind. Like, I do meditation, I take off my socks and I put my feet in the ground, I go touch a tree and I just put that back into the universe, like, take it all yeah. back. Yes, so, you know what? Growing up, I also have, like, presentimientos I will have like a feeling something was gonna happen and I will get like anxiety 
And I used to text everybody. I used to text like all my brothers, cousin, hi, Yuri. I all oh, fucking like, oh my God, I don't know what's going on, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. And to calm me down, I will like literally go to a tree and hug it. Like I need something from the earth to relax me, you know? So I get what you're saying, like to bring yeah. yourself back. And that's why I do a lot of meditation. People don't understand why I do it. It's because to keep myself, para que no me vuelva loca, wey. O sea, yeah. <laughs> But it's really good for the mind and the spirit. For see, really they say is. I'm crazy, girl. <laughs> no, yo, kid you not. One time I went to the um to a therapist, right? Y me estaba diciendo, okay, Olga, do you hear uh things you know, like voices or whatever? And then me quedé bien callada, right? And you she's like, asses, no. And then she's like, uh, Olga, I asked you a question. Do you hear voices? And in my head said. You better not tell her. You do, girl. You're going to go to the crazy hole. <laughs> I was like, oh, hell no. Yeah, you got to be so, careful what you tell them because, yeah. they're like, oh, you're okay. You're schizophrenia. Oh, wait, she's bipolar. Oh, wait, you know. They always want to yeah. la- label. <laughs> label you. <here>. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy because you would think like they would know about that, right? Since there's, they study because they're supposed to study to be a, como se dice, un psiquiatra, right? Or the, uh-huh. Oh, no. Um, therapist what are they therapists yeah yeah Yeah. but you know what they do it so that they can give you their pills and then pill it's a it's you know that's a whole different topic pharmaceuticals it's a business they want to keep you sick exactly thank you yes yes but okay that's the topic for another day right (laughs) but (laughs) oh my god well thank you so much ladies for sharing that's very brave because you know you guys know you guys are going to be definitely judged Oh, yeah. Especially from those people that don't understand and don't speak about it because they're like this. They feel the same way. Oh, my God, we're going to be judged. Exactly. People are not going to understand us. So just know you're not alone out there. There's more people out there like you and tap in and don't be don't be shy about it. Just embrace it. And that's it. You know, you know what? It's so funny that I always find friends. I'm drawn to friends they actually understand me and I'm so thankful that they're they're in tune as well and like I can only imagine if I didn't have friends like that I will definitely feel like I'm fucking crazy like (laughs) but um let's see so the dm question is what is the most scariest thing that ever happened to us or experience with the spiritual world The guest goes first, Patty. The scariest thing? Okay, you want to go, Yuri? (laughs) Um, Oh, my God, I have a lot. But I think the most scariest thing that had happened to me, I was going to save this for for Halloween. (laughs) But I think it's the one where I used to live with my tia and the trailas. Mm. And... For the first time ever, I felt that, I, I guess you call it, se te subió el muerto. I have never experienced that in my life. I've had heard of it. Even my sister, Myra, have told me about it, that that had happened to her. But I've never experienced that. So when I used to live with my tia Las Trailas, one night I was sleeping and literally like my whole like left side, I couldn't move and I felt this pressure and I couldn't move. But the only thing that I could move was my right arm. So as I was praying, porque ahí sí, güey, I started praying and shit, you know? Se me subió un muerto. No, that's that's I started uh, sleep praying. Paralysis. And at this time, I was trying to. Wow. Yeah, bro, that shit is fucking scary. So with my right arm, I started to reach for the remote control for the TV. And I fa- finally managed to turn it on. And that pressure like left my body or whatever the heck it was. It, it left, but I, it left like a purple finger marks on my arm. Yeah, like a bruise. It was fucking Yeah, crazy. but you could see like fingers. Like it was like three fingers like that. It was marks and it was bruised. And then the next day I show Olga. And I'm like, bro, that shit is fucking scary. Like never in my life I have ever experienced that. And I think that's the scariest shit that had ever happened to me. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. I, I get that too. Sometimes it's a uh, sleep, you know, the scientific word for it, sleep paralysis, but, yeah. um, the scariest that, thing that is happened, crazy. 
Um, I remember now, and this is when I had mentioned it before, I used to play the Ouija board. Um, I played it once. It didn't work for me a couple of times. And then after a couple of times, it, it worked. And long story short, I had awoken a spirit of a little girl. And how I know this, because this curandera had told me that there was a little girl that was following me all the time. And she said, Some, somehow, some way you woke her up and now you have to pray to her because she's not resting in peace. So, um, oh my God, bitch, that's how it's scary. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> well, yeah that's that's that. That's scary. And, um, <laughs> I, and I can have like the whole household confirm it because one day I'm coming up the stairs, my mom's putting like, you know, when I was younger, she's putting, um, towels away and the closet's like right by my door. And so she like t- took a double look. And I was like, ¿Qué? ¿Qué miraste? And she's like, no, nada. And I was like, ama, what did you see? And then she's like, you know what? She's like, I just saw like un bulto. She said a little bulto, like a little person walking like in my room from the bed to like the closet, like just walking across. And when I, she told me that, like, se me like I got goosebumps because the curandera lady, the the which doctor was like you had awoken a little girl so my mom had seen her before i even did i would just so she had already told you this she already had told me so when my mom said that she saw her in my room i did not sleep in my room for like a whole month i prayed and i prayed and i prayed for her and just did like she, how the lady told me to tell you did she tell you that it was an evil no, that she wasn't, that she wasn't oh, resting. Shit. But she didn't tell you she's evil or she's good or? No, she just, that she just needed prayer. She wasn't resting in peace. But I, she latched onto me because I was playing with the Ouija board. Somehow I connected with her. I woke her up or not woke her up, but she attached herself to me. So now, you know, she's like, all she needs is prayer. But girl, first of all, you're crazy for playing that shit. Yeah, I'll never, never play again. that. Shit. Never again will I play the Ouija board. <laughs> Second of all, that shit is fucking crazy. That, that is, shit is crazy. That is and then real. she finally went away. And she went away. Like I've never heard anything else. Like, I mean, like I said, we've heard things here in the house, but now like we just kind of like adapted to her. We're just like, whatever, like go yeah. away, <laughs> you know, but. I think that was the scariest thing, um, being in tune and playing with crazy shit. <laughs> well, you know Fuck what? That. Yeah, I always been so scared to watch scary movies, huh, Yuri? I don't watch scary movies yeah. for the same reason. Like, I don't want nothing because I already witnessed all everything. Like, I don't, all my life since I was little, I remember, like, I used to sleep in La Sala with my brothers and I will see like shadows and shit like by the door. And now and I will wake up my brother Eric, like, oh my God, Eddie, there's a shadow, blah, 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 blah. And sometimes we'll think it's my dad because it had like a tejana, you know? And mm-hmm. then Eric is like, I know, I know, just pray and go to sleep. Like nothing. Just cover your face, but you see, yeah, <laughs> you're gonna be fine. So I have experienced this since I was little, like seeing black shadows or whatever you wanna call that. And then it's just started like s- slowly like experiencing um getting messages from the past like people who passed away and then it got to actually feeling like one time I felt um a, the person who came to visit me like se sentó en la cama like you know when you sit on the bed and you can feel the 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 weight oh shit that was fucking scary for me I was just like oh hell no yeah, but recently, but recently, I have never, like, you know, I had people come see me or whatever. They passed away. Um, recently, one of my friends that passed away came. And when he came, I never felt like the, the how it was sucking my, my breath, like my energy. And it was so hot. It was so hot. And it's funny because I was just talking to my cousin about it and she was like, maybe because he was angry and he did sound angry when he was talking to me because he got killed. Oh, he shit. got killed. So he sounded so like he was 
pissed. You know, like I can only imagine. Imagine when you leave your body and you see in your body like motherfuckers got me. I wonder what you're gonna say, right? Like, yeah, they got me. I'm hot. You know, now I, I can't see my kids or whatever you want to say once you leave this vehicle here on Earth. So to me, it's like. I think that was one of the scariest moments for me because I couldn't breathe and it was burning. Like I cannot explain the type of heat it was. And and he was just like, I don't know if he was on me or what. And I was just like, okay, okay, I'll pass the message. Just go leave because I can't breathe. You're taking everything from me. Like vete. And finally he left. But I was just like, out of all the other ones that came to visit me, I never felt that heat and the the that type of energy it was crazy do you guys believe in reincarnation like i do or like that we're just passing through like this is not really this is life it's just an experience well that to me this is like we're living here and you're just gonna you know how they say oh life is short do the most out of it i feel like we're just here for a while and then we there's literally like a a past life like we're this is not even life to me <laughs> like it's we're not even meant to be here we're gonna be you know it's <laughs> I don't know what happened to her but let's wrap it up I get what you're saying like I feel the same way I feel like sometimes I always feel like I don't belong here like I I know this is just a temporary thing so I always tell myself, they always call me like, oh, you're half angel, half human because of the same reason, because I always be so weird. And I don't understand like humans reactions, like when they be so mad about certain things, I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, you guys worry about the dumbest shit, like to me, you know what I mean? Like, like well, maybe you're here for a reason. Maybe you're here to help the ones that are not strong in tune with their, um, you know, with their intuition, maybe you're here on this earth to help them out to get them right. ready for, you know, um, for what comes next. Right. Definitely. I do feel like as I get older and older, I'm like more like, fuck it. I don't care what people think about me and accept the fact that I am more in tune and to find my purpose in life. You know, like I can't just go around hiding the fact that I'm highly intuitive because you're uncomfortable just because to make other people comfortable, you make yourself uncomfortable. You have to right. lie to the world. So exactly. slowly I'm opening up like, I don't care what you think about me, to be honest. Right. Like, you think I'm crazy? I don't care. You know what I mean? Like, it's all good. <laughs> yeah. So that's to wrap it up about like the craziest experience. I think that's one of our scariest moments. So let's uh, take a quick break. We will be right back. Hey guys, I'm sorry that we're having a, a lot of tech problems. <laughs> the internet is just going and then we're recording and it's not recording and they're fucking with us. Anyways, let's go back with Vibing Colas Chulas. You, right? Yeah, basically. And I think that's good. I think you guys are embracing it and I'm sure there's more, like I said, there's people out there that could relate to you guys, so... I mean, hopefully with this topic, a lot of people out there are more open about it too. I don't think it's anything to be ashamed of. Just know that you guys are different, but it's like, I don't see it in a bad way. You guys are not locas. <laughs> right. Yeah. You guys are just born with it. Like I, I read about it since you're little, since you're born, you're born with that. Yes, you are. And just go with it. If you have that gut feeling, just go with it. You know what I mean? Like, you, if you can't trust other people, trust yourself, trust your gut feeling, your third eye, you know? Yeah, definitely. Definitely, yes. I agree with that. Okay, so <laughs> we can move on to the, so we're good with that then? So basically, if you do feel something, go with it. We all have you know, feelings, intuitive, whatever. Some people have it more than others. It doesn't mean they were fucking crazy or weird just because, like I said, if just because you feel uncomfortable, I'm not going to hide it no more. I don't care. And no, yeah. I'm not going to sit there, read your mind. 
I don't got time for that shit. If it comes, it comes. Sorry, you guys have no privacy around me sometimes. But hey, life ain't fair, isn't it, motherfuckers? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... All right, so we're going to move on to the sex topic? Yeah, let's see. Take the shot or answer. Oh, toys or food in the bedroom? And tell us why. I'll show you guys so you guys won't think I'm cheating. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to go with toys because, you know, you could definitely achieve your orgasm with a toy. With food, baby girl, you are just going to get some BV and you're just going to get a motherfucking infection. So definitely I, toys. <laughs> I agree with you. I always, I always like toys. I do want to experience with more toys, but... um. Definitely toys, toys, toys in the bedroom. Program. Yes, definitely. Well, since I've never experienced the food, but what do you mean food? Like food, like, stick- like bring in the bedroom some food, like like it something is. with cream, a cucumber, like strawberry, like a like a pepino in there. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, um, since I've never done food. I'm going to have to go and say toys. Toys are pretty fun, pretty satisfying. What kind of toys toys are you into? (laughs) I've done the um, (laughs) the little, what do you call it? A bullet? Oh, okay, okay. Those shits are, yes. If you had never tried that, you should try it. It's very satisfying. I've done the bunny one. And I had done like the little, little, like, you know, the one that just for your, you know, for your that's a bullet, right? Yeah. Oh. Was, like the bullet. Like a bullet. And then yeah. I had like, I think that's it. Oh, no. And I had like a ring, like something for like the guy. Uh, I never tried it though. Oh, the ring works hella good for the guys. Like- and then for you at the same time, I guess. It's yeah. cool, like, I have, that's what I have to try that. So I have tried the, I haven't tried it, but I have it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it was too tight. I think I don't know if I had the wrong size. It was too tight for my guy, so he's like, "You're not about to put that shit." <laughs> it's supposed to be, but tight. it's supposed to be tight, right? right? That's so what it's saying. supposed to be tight so that it the blood, you know, it just it'll just fucking just keep it up. It'll stay up longer. Yeah, and it makes it like bigger too. But yeah. I think he felt uncomfortable probably. But yeah, yeah, I've heard that that's how it's supposed to be tight. Yeah, it's supposed I don't to be. know. Maybe maybe you know what? I need to try it. I, try it again. I'm gonna be like, you know what? <laughs> Round two. It's supposed to be like what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, you guys. Well let's wrap it up. Episode <laughs> six is spiritual and some freaky dicky. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so yes. much, Patty, for tapping in and like opening up with me and not feeling like, you know, with this topic, it's not easy to talk about, especially for me. I feel like my family, my close friends know mm-hmm. about it because they have no choice but to listen to my craziness. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, was- we, and, and we have no choice but to accept you. <laughs> <laughs> What you see is what you get. No, you know what, Olga, like, I, like you said, since we were kids, we were so drawn to each other. And even now, like, as adults, like, it's so crazy, like, the chemistry or the connection that we have. And I feel like, yeah, it's because of that same um, intuition that we share. So, like, we can recognize, I can recognize sometimes people, like, sometimes I'd be like, I'm drawn to people for different reasons. And then, I'm drawn to people because I know we kind of understand without talking. We just look at each other. Yeah. And we're like, okay, okay, okay. I know. Like we have like a special language. (laughs) Exactly. We have like a special language of craziness, I guess. Exactly. (laughs) Oh, well, thank you so much for having me. It was fun. I'm glad you had fun. You took your shot. Oh, we both took our shot. (laughs) We didn't get... But yes, I'm so happy. And you guys, this is episode six with Vibing Con Las Chulas. Peace and love. Bye. Bye-bye.